The EZ250 is a versatile pallet feed system and combined with our VMX 60 SRTI Erco machine, an absolutely versatile package when you, when you marry the two together. So can you give me a little background into you and Touring 2000? My name's Ian Bubb. I'm the Senior Business Development Manager here at Touring 2000. I joined Touring 2000 approximately 12 months ago, but I've been in the engineering business and have known Touring 2000 for many, many years. Touring 2000 always were one of the traditional Birmingham go-to tool making facilities. So I've known that as a customer and supplier for over 20 years. Now there's something else I want to talk about and you mentioned this upstairs which I thought was brilliant is obviously bringing in lights out machining brings its own set of problems. Tooling being one of them because obviously let's be honest tooling doesn't last forever. Well you've, come, you've got a great solution for that so what are you doing to make sure that even if a tool breaks this system carries on running and you come in to finish parts? So what we do to overcome the, uh, that problem, and um, obviously our t we, we tend to buy the most reliable, efficient tooling that, that, that we can to suit the jobs. But what we do is when we program our machines, we program more than one set of tooling. So for example, as we're running through the night or over the weekend, which we do quite frequently, if for example a drill breaks or a tap breaks, all of our tooling is individually probed after each component is finished. And if the probing detects a broken tool, what happens then is within the program, we have the ability to move on to what's called a sister set of tooling. So there will be a mirror set of tooling within the tool carousel. And the VMX60 SRTI has a carousel that can contain up to 40 tools at a time. So you've got quite a lot of scope to prepare for breakages and ensure that you continue running throughout the night or the weekend. Now, my background is obviously running Herco's. I run Herco's for quite a few years, but automation was never a part of my day-to-day -day job. We, I was a prototype one-off part. So what was, the sh what was it like when you first got this system to get it up and running? Because this is, is this your first sort of step into automation? So how was that to get up and running? So yeah, it is our first step into CNC machining automation. And of course, like any new piece of equipment, you have to go through a learning curve. We went through that learning curve very quickly because we're familiar with the, the Herco systems. It was a case of marrying the two machines together. And I think as I've already mentioned, this, this machine here is based on a monoblock design. So it's, it's quite a quick install um, to, to marry the two machines together. And what about programming it? Because obviously, Herco's are known for their programming capabilities, what you can actually do on the system itself without needing a CAD CAM system. So how does this system marry into that to be able to program it all together to make sure when you want to call a block up, it brings that right block to you? It's a break in the program. Obviously, the Herco machine talks to the Aroa and vice versa. So both machines know where each other are at any given point and how many billets are left on the carousel, what the runtime is on each component. Now, obviously, we can't talk about specific products because you do some amazing stuff, but quite a few are under NDAs. But for such a big machine and an automation system that can handle big parts, what type of work are you putting through this? Because obviously we've already said you're not doing thousands of batch runs. No, so our, our, the, the volumes that suit these type of machines and our automation in this, this instance are, are low to medium volume production. But we're talking about low to medium volume complex parts. We, we're producing uh, automotive components. We're producing MOD components. We have the capability of producing aerospace components. Uh, oil and gas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, the reason we went for the, and I've got to emphasise this, the reason we went for these two machines conjoined is to give us the maximum versatility and maximum capacity that we can achieve from this this type and size of machine. And and of course, sorry to interrupt you, we always have a backup of the VMX 42 should anything go wrong with this machine. And that's how we plan our business. We've always got a, a backup solution. 
And the last question, just before we finish, is obviously as a first time company to automation, how has Herco actually helped you through this to actually make it work? So Herco are, are very supportive. I had the, uh, the pleasure of the Herco training. I got thrown in at the deep end on the programming side of things, which is something I've never done before. But the, the Herco system and the support that Herco give are absolutely second to none. And the, the Herco system, the programming system, being conversational is, is very user friendly. And, and even a simple salesperson like me found a way through it.